This is a quick look at the Akhenaudi Next command line tool, Akhenaudi SH. This gives you a command line interface to Akhenaudi Next resources and local caches, allowing you to look at them, manage them, etc. So you can use it from the command line as you would expect from a normal Unix command. Let's list the resources that I have available on this, on this account. So I've got three Mailder resources here. Um, you can, of course, use it as you would expect or hope anyways. Um, and let's do help here by you know piping commands into it. Um, you can also redirect commands. In fact, that file scripted Akhenaudi is um, <clears throat> uh, there we are. It's a little script that calls Akhenaudi sh and has two commands in it: help list and list resource. Um, and as you can see, it actually gave us the help for that. But I can go one step further, and I can actually just call it as a script. And it runs, as you would expect, running the two commands, help list, telling us what list does, and then giving us a list of the resources. Um, perhaps even more neat is if you just run Akhenaudi.sh on its own, it actually drops you into a bit of an interactive shell here. Um, you can see what's available syntax-wise. Um, is exit of course, you control D, help, which will give you some help uh, text for all the different um, commands. And you have thing, a few things you can set right now. There's debug levels and timing on and off, so you can see how long things take to run. Um, and then there's the Akhenaudi ones that are like list, clear, count, create, modify, remove, stat, and sync. So let's look and see how this, this works in practice. Let's list those resources again. And as you can see, it's got tab completion, which is really nice. Um, let's count the number of mails in um, that are in my system. Okay, so I've got two results and another two results in the different uh, resources. Let's list the mail um, in mailder.instance4. Great name. Nothing. Let's list the mail in, in, in this one. Oh, look at that, I've got some mail. It looks a little bit funky because I'm using a really big font so you can see it easier and it's kind of screwing up the formatting. Um, let's list, um, and as you can see, it also has read line support so you can just go up and down as you would expect all the normal um, editing capabilities of history. And it, of course, remembers your history before between runs, which is handy. So we'll do uh, instance three and, oh, there's nothing there. Okay, that's probably because I haven't synced it. So let's sync. There we go. Uh -huh. Synchronization complete. And let's go back and let's list the mail in there. Boom, I have my mail. So this is um, Akhenaudi SH. We just um, have put this together recently. We'll be developing it over time, um, improving both the auto completion but also the number of features you have. Uh, and yes, basically what you can do with it in accordance to user request and what we find useful ourselves developing it. Cheers.